I'm not getting mad about a white woman being mean to another white woman. Last week, television host Samantha Bee called White House senior advisor Ivanka Trump a quote, feckless cunt in a segment about the Trump administration's immigration policy. After decades of ignoring the issue, Americans are finally paying attention. Well, most of us. Ivanka Trump, who works at the White House, chose to post the second most oblivious tweet we've seen this week. You know, Ivanka, that's a beautiful photo of you and your child, but let me just say, one mother to another, do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless cunt. He listens to you. And of course, there was a ton of feigned outrage. Aunt Lydia, I mean, Sarah Huckabee Sanders issued a statement, as did B's network, and Samantha herself apologized, but it's like, why? It's so curious to me to see how white women who've pushed back against the Trump administration's cruelties with comedy have been so attacked. It's like people are mad at them for crossing the imperialist, white supremacist, capitalist, patriarchy picket line. Like they're viewed as traitorous to a certain kind of white womanhood. Because it can't be about the jokes. Both Roseanne and Ted Nugent have called Hillary Clinton that word, and Donald Trump loves them. Trump supporters regularly use misogynistic language toward HRC and racist language against the Obamas. So what's the real issue? People claim to be mad about incivility. Okay, be mad about that. But the person with the most power sets the terms for engagement. So if you're not consistently and ardently compelling the man in the Oval Office to be civil, if you're not checking him when he calls a sitting senator a Native American name, or when he calls non-white country shitholes, or when he refers to Mexicans as animals or violent rapists, then you have no leg to stand on. You want me to be upset about some mean words? Talk to the bully in chief. And to be clear, Samantha wasn't wrong. Now, I wouldn't use that word because black people don't say that, but it's so gross how Ivanka Trump gets to play outsider or insider whenever it's convenient for her. If she doesn't want people to talk about her, she should go back to New York and license her name to scam companies like her father. Samantha decided that she wanted to use the strongest language possible to get her point across. So yeah, feckless cunt is harsh. That's the point. Samantha is a white woman with a TV show. She aimed those words at a white woman in the White House. It's potentially offensive, but not oppressive. And it is right to draw the line of acceptability at language that reinforces unequal power relations. And this gets to what people refuse to acknowledge about using slurs. Words have to be assessed in full view of their context. The same words don't always have the same meaning or effects, we know this. But the right pretends not to get it, and these kinds controversies surrounding Samantha Bee and Michelle Wolf underscore just how much they want to be marginalized. These are people who want to adopt the language of victimhood without interrogating their investments in power. And this is not a double standard. White people can't say nigga or compare black people to animals. Men can't call women bitches and cunts. The rules are really simple. People are obsessed with using slurs for groups they don't belong to for the exact reason why we don't want them to do it. It's a display of domination. It's a means of seeking Seeking power. Words matter, but ultimately it's about power, structural inequality. So if we're not talking about that, these conversations are useless. I get upset about language that bolsters the structural inequality that already exists, but two people in the same group being mean to each other? That's none of my business. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We've added new perks to our Patreon, so if you would like to help us continue this work, sign up to become a contributor or make a one-time donation and join us for events across the country for black women. I'll see you at Black Girls Gather. <laughs> Bye.